Oh yeah, if you're curious, this is how long I've been working on the walkthrough so far. You know, I, uh, between parts, the counter continues to go up, so that's why the counter is so high. But as you see, just the, these many parts that I've made, which is only probably like an hour and a half of footage, is uh, like three hours uh, game time. <laughs> So now you see how much uh, time actually goes into these things because of that I have to keep dumping the memory card after each part. All right, this is Cerebrus Alpha. Cerebrus Alpha. Or Cerebrus Alpha, whatever. All right, we're on the cat. <laughs> and this is by far one of the silliest bosses in the entire game. But then again, they're all pretty silly in, in some way or another. Yeah. And as you can, oops, as you can see, I'm riding on the missile and on the cat. <laughs> and the object is to throw missiles up towards them. As uh, said in the last part, you can shake the missiles to get them to go bigger, but it's uh, really not necessary in my opinion because, oh, because it takes longer to shake the missile. <laughs> Then you know, then it's worth, so to speak, and then you could take a hit because you're shaking it and stuff like that. It's just not a good idea. But yeah, you have to catch the missiles, throw them back at them. Oh, triple missile! I'm not even gonna try catching one of those. Oh, go! Oh, shoot! I was holding up when I let go of it. <laughs> I should say when I threw it. Oh, oh, ow! Oh boy, here comes the beam. <laughs> Yeah, the beam is avoidable if you're just sitting on the ground. Or I should say, not sitting on the ground, if you're, uh... Oh, transformation! <laughs> and this is pretty cool, actually, how that looks. But anyway, that beam is avoidable if you're wa just running on the ground. And, ah! And the object of this one is to throw them at, into the ground like that when you have an opportunity to do so. And, whoa! Hadouken! <laughs> Or more Kamehameha's, I don't know. Either way, they aren't that powerful. <laughs> ah! There we go. He took a hit there. It's got to watch very carefully, because the screen's going all over the place on these kinds of bosses. Got to be very... Oh, I, I just knocked the Kamehameha right out of the air. <laughs> Whoa, he's in the front of the screen. <laughs> and, oh, now he's riding on top. Grab the gun, start shooting at him. Yeah! 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 Yeah, you, you now get his gun that he used to shoot at you. It's a pretty dang versatile gun, as you can see. <laughs> but, uh, because he had so many shots coming out of it, but strangely, but we've only got this shot coming from it, so... It's versatile for him, I should say, not for us. By the way, uh, she automatically aims at Luna. See, it, uh, no matter where you are, she aims at him. So, you can pretty much just dodge his attacks, and he'll be taking hits from it. <laughs> The uh, body of that uh, water, whatever walking creature that he's on does block the shots, like the head of it. So you're better off behind it, if possible, like this. Yeah! But he usually doesn't let you do it because uh, you switch sides of the screen depending on he what he wants to do. You have no choice uh, upon which side of the screen you're going on to, because you have to dodge to whatever side that screen is forcing you to dodge to. And that's it for the boss. Oh, could I lose to you, he said. <laughs> because I'm awesome! And now I get another nice cutscene. Yay! We got the professor! And he's just as perver perverted as ever! <laughs> What did he think was going to happen when he did that? <laughs> the Empire's plan has been destroyed by Marina's heroics. Professor Theo was also rescued, but the peace is brief. A new battle is stirring, of which Marina is unaware. There is a new enemy, the Beast Sector. Stay tuned. Same in 64 times, same in the 64 channel. You know, stop breaking the fourth wall game. That is, just, just takes you away from the experience. By the way, here's a useful tip. It's a really good one, too. <laughs> Against the boss, if you never take a hit, you'll be rewarded with a gold item. Yeah, as you can see, that's pretty hard to do. <laughs> To get uh, gold items, grabbing is where you must begin. Shaking for, for treasure, treasure from within, throwing far is how to win. Say that five times fast. Ultra into galactic cyborg G Marina. Her knife kick will punish you. And that's it. <laughs> Woo! 
Yeah, I love the bosses in this game, like that one that you just seen there. It's just so silly yet epic at the same time. Emperor Jamon at the cave is going extremely well. If it continues like this, our empire plus um, empire fleet will soon be ready to depart. <gasps> no! He's in recovery thingy. What the? Lunar! Who did this? It also reminds me of Dragon Ball Z with those recovery capsule thingies from, the, you know, the Saiyans and whatever. You know what I mean, if you watch DBZ. <laughs> Marina. It was Marina. Well, I shouldn't say if you watch. I used to watch it, but not anymore. Marina. You mean it was that ultra intergalactic cyborg G? That works for the evil Theo? Evil? No! What's going on here? Lunar has been destroyed! Um, as you can see, Marina is stronger than we had anticipated. So, Taurus, the assignment is now yours. Understood loud and clear. It's revenge time. Marina is underestimating the power of the beast sector. Um, that's not what I meant. Marina, I'll make you pay. No, no not Marina. Kidnap the professor, you fool. Charge! Yeah, as you can see, these, these guys are all kind of like idiots. <gasps> yes, sir! Our lives are mine! Here we go, troops! Engage! <laughs> I'm so easily amused. <laughs> They're all just worshipping him and then just walking along with them. <laughs> I just find it so, this game so silly in general. But it's awesome game. But the, yeah, that's it. I told him to kidnap the professor. <laughs> oh, I guess that's not that. I forgot about this little part. <laughs> Don't worry, Emperor. I'll kidnap the professor for you. I'll use my slutty powers. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of missiles. <laughs> I'll never be kidnapped again. Look at these weapons. This time I'll fight back. Oh, yeah, baby. And we're waiting for her to walk, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. Professor! Slutty powers activate! Oh! Oh, Marina, is that you? I thought you weren't into the, went into the other room, didn't you? Oh, no, Professor! I'm right here! Professor, let's play hide and seek, okay? I'll hide and you try to find against me if you can. Marina, what happened to you? Why are you being so childish? Boy, now I'll play your silly games. <laughs> Ready or not, here I go. I'm going to get you. Here I go. Oh, that is a sweet ass you got. Oh, thank you. It's like a tight peach. Oh, I love you too, Professor. <laughs> They had the wrong number. Huh? Hey, Professor! Why is he saying help me when he's the one chasing her? Oh, good lord. They could have came up with a different sound effect for that one. Professor! Yeah, those missiles are going to blow up the house and that wouldn't be good. <laughs> and that's it for that. And now we're going into the next level. Or I should say next world. Level 4. So I'll see you guys in the next part when we start it.